Okay, I'm coming on to do a video. Crafty Crafts by Dina wanted to know how I do my flowers, where I glitter them and do all that kind of stuff. You can make your flowers, you know, by building them up, paper, crafting, whatever you want to do. What I'm doing for this demonstration, I'm going to show you on this kind of flower. This is from the Dollar Tree, and uh, they come in a pack. You can buy them like this, but this is going to work great for the demonstration. So let me show you what I do. The first thing I'm going to do is take and just put me a little bit of glue out. Okay. That is all I'm going to do. I'm going to set that there. I might need some more of it. Okay. And I tell everybody, get you a paintbrush. Just a cheap paintbrush that you're comfortable with. And if you see this, you can see where I have trimmed it. So all that won't be down here where I don't need it to be. And all you're going to do is take this and paint it just, just like you're painting a picture. You're going to paint your glue on here. That is all you're doing. Let's get that real good. This technique that I'm showing you, the one I learned it from, was Diane crafting with fury she is the one years ago that taught me how to use diamond dust okay all you're going to do after you get this done take your diamond dust and i use a tray here i don't know if you can see the tray there's a tray here i'm just going to take it and sprinkle it with a spoon all over it i'm going to turn it upside down and tap it now i'm going to sit there and let it dry I hope you can see. See how that just shines? And it will, with the glue, it stays on there. And you can use a uh, spray. You can take uh, alcohol spray and you know, put this in a little baggie and add alcohol spray to it and make a different color. So there's one. That's the diamond dust. Okay, if you want just plain glitter, say you want something pretty, but you just want a little bit of glitter on it. Let's see if I can get this opened there we go. you're going to do it the same way you can this is a way to make flowers just bloom and it works perfect y'all have seen me do it on my flowers that where they're colored uh, puffy stickers whatever it just doesn't matter it is a great technique okay this is glue Okay, and all you're doing, adding a little bit of a glitter. Be real careful. Just use a real light hand when you're putting a lot of glitter and things like that on. So that's one technique I use. Then you can use a double technique. Let me do it on one of these. This would be pretty, and that way you can really see what I'm doing here. Let's see, let me get out some more glue here. I'll show you on a multi-flyer, and this is just a white multi-flyer, same kind of stuff. In fact, I think, I don't know, I think these come from Little Birdie. And all you're going to do is you're going in and dabbing into each petal. That's all you're doing. It's just painting it. That's exactly what you're doing, is you're painting it. And then, just pull your petals down. Paint it some more, pull your petals down, paint it some more. The only thing with this technique is you are painting it with glue instead of paint. So it works perfect. And I always kind of take it and just jab it in like that. That way you got everything good and covered in glue. Alright, now on this one, what I'm going to do before I put my glitter glue on, I've got this extra fine glitter, and this is a uh, Prisma glitter i want to show you a couple techniques here though with this one okay you see how that i don't know if you can see the shine let's see let's hold it up. there we go yeah now before it dries i'm going to take it and do the same thing with some diamond 
dust on it. And then, take my spoon, I'm going to tap the top. So, the, now, you've got the prism glitter and the diamond dust on there. And that's all you're doing to these flowers is painting them. That it's just like painting, like I said, a picture. You're, but you're painting flowers instead. Um, let me, um, stickles. Y'all have always heard me say about using my stickles. Let me show you my stickles. Here is what I do. Okay, let me stick a pen. Anything that's got glitter in it, sometimes you gotta. Okay, come. Well, of course, I got the bottle out that gets messed up easy. Okay, I'll fix that. There we go. <laughs> Don't let it defeat you. I'm just going to take my brush and dip it in there. I'll put the lid back together and let's take another one of these flyers. These I think are a little bit easier to see. And all you're doing is, like I said, painting. And this is with your, just your stickles. And it, it just gives it a pretty shine. And just make it takes it over the top is what it does. It takes a pretty flower, something that is already gorgeous, and makes it a little bit better. That is all it's doing. And all you're doing is painting it. You're just painting each petal. So, it's nothing to get worried about or too complicated over. And there you go. Let me see. There you go. You can see that. And again, if you get this and you got all the color on it, then all you got to do is sprinkle it. When it dries, it will leave a little bit of coating on it. There you go. That's all there is to it, y'all. It, it don't matter what flower or um, what you're doing. Um, I haven't got anything right here. Hang on there, let me... <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me show you on this type because this is um this is kind of a funky looking flower and it's got a lot of petals. I want to show you the difference that it will make. Okay, you see this flower? You see how it's plain? You know it's pretty, but it's plain. You can take this and let's see. Let's do glue on this one. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to take the glue, and I'm just going to start dabbing glue all over it. That's all you're doing, just dabbing your glue all over it. You can do this with your words, any kind of sticker, any kind of a chipboard piece, anything. You can add dimension and uh, dazzle to it by just doing the same thing. Okay. And see, you kind of going in between the separate flowers, so you're not just creating a mess. You don't want to just got paint out of a bottle onto it because it's not going to work. Okay, then and when they dry. They will be stuck fast, and you don't have to worry about it. Let's see. Well, I pulled... Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's get one of these out, and I'll show you the before and after of what I did. Let's put that over there. Okay. See? It changes them. It takes them to a whole nother level. And makes them just excited. These work great for any project, any kind of project, and it don't take them long to dry. Just a little bit, and uh, like I said, you know, is nothing to it. It is really nothing to it. I like the stickles on projects like this too, because that way you are getting it in there, but you got a different color. And like I said, it doesn't matter where it's glitter, glue, whatever. 
how of it works. Anything that it heaves. The, um, what you're doing to the flower or the sign or whatever it is. Background paper. It looks really, really good. And there you go. And I don't know if you can see that one. This has got the gold silhouette in there. But it takes them uh, where you really see the differences. Like I said, when you look at one before and after, that is the way they're done. So, just, uh, you can play around. I, I have used so many techniques, it's not even funny. And it's really according to what look I'm going for as to what I'm doing. But, <coughs> I really like that. And again, like I said, just on these simple flyers, all you're doing, taking them to another whole level by just painting the petals. Just take your glue and paint. Let's see what we do here. <coughs> All the glue and everything will dry clear. And there you go. There's another beautiful diamond dust. All right, that's it. That that's as simple as it can get, and you can't get no more simpler. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, Dina, honey, like I said, there ain't nothing to it. You could do it with your hand tied behind your back. All right. Hugs, love, and kisses. God bless you. I'll sleep with the angels every night. Know how much I love you. And just, uh, like I said, don't be afraid to experiment. Don't. Just don't. I mean, there's nothing you're going to mess up. There ain't a thing about this that you can mess up. Everything is going to be perfect. And it's going to come out looking like a million dollars. So, just have fun with it. That's what you need to do. Just have fun with it. But I love to use this kind of stuff on projects and bring them to that next level. A lot of people don't like a whole lot of shimmer, glimmer, or, you know, the pretty uh, diamond dust. But boy, I do. <laughs> I can't get enough of this stuff, y'all. All right. The diamond dust I use. Oh, let me tell you this. The diamond dust I use at Michael's, this, this size carton is like $16. And this is what it is. And I use it on one of these recollection trays. It's a bead tray. But when I do it, then I can unplug it here and pour it all back in my bottle if I get anything out. So, you know, that way you're not losing anything. And a bottle of this will last you for a long time. I just got through the other day with this bottle of this Diamond Dust. And this one lasted me over a year and a half. So, you know, yeah, it goes and goes and goes and keeps on going. All right, that's it. Hugs, love, and kisses. God bless you. I'll sleep with the angels every night. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, just a little peek in what you can do. And the colors, when you're doing on color flyers, oh, Lord, y'all, it makes them pop. Have a blessed, beautiful day, honeys.